You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Neighbours has done a John Farnham. Can you believe it? Mm. I mean, we saw the news late last night as it broke. It'll be the biggest news around the world today. Neighbours is coming home to Network 10. It's not over, mate. It's coming back. Time so, to celebrate. Tommy, get some glitter cannons in the oh, studio. So good. Channel 10 or is it Amazon? Channel 10 and Amazon. Right, so it'll stream gotcha. both. It's a joint venture here. And what's exciting is, Fitz, with Amazon, mm. you're going to be able to see past episodes and series. So you can go back to 37 years of Neighbours. Well, I might start binging it from the start. Yep, yep, yep sure. Get on board. Um, so wonder, back, to, back to 1985. Well, I wonder if... Um, I wonder I wonder if Tony and I wonder if all the old actors, if there was an element of, oh God, you know what? We had a great run. It's all over. Mm. I'm glad. What a relief. Glad we're done. Now, I mean, what are your feelings that you're going back? I, I think it's amazing. I mean, if, if you love Neighbours, right, which I did growing up, and I sat down and I watched the finale, it was a bit clunky, yeah. don't get me wrong, but it had all your favourites back in there and everybody celebrated around the uh, you know, the street and also mm. at home on the couch. I thought that was special. I wonder if any of them went out with a bang, right, and, you know, disagreed with a few producers or, or told them to. And well. just had a, had a go at them on the way out. Because when we... Sp- you know what? You've been a real prick the whole time. And I've been meaning to tell you that for years. But now the show's over, I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, Steph and Dennis, settle down. Uh, Steph, um, it's back. Um, We're not finished. Oh, Sorry, guys, I've jumped the gun. Um, Because when we spoke to Toady after the final episode, he was focused on his construction work. Uh, He was in a digger. He was building a house. He wanted to move on. Well, he's moved out of the country, hasn't he? Yes, and now apparently a lot of the cast only found out when they saw the promos flying around on social media yesterday. Do you know who was the highlight in that? That final show, Guy Pearce, by a mile. Totally. By an absolute mile. So Hasn't good. lost it, has he? It's been mm. talk, would Guy come back in some capacity? You, you, that was a one-off for him. He couldn't come back again, could he? I don't, I don't, you know who was missing from the finale? Craig McGlock. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Um, what was amazing, too, was the final <laughs> scene, which I think was Susan Kennedy. Have we got that in the system? Everyone deserves a place in the history of Ramsey Street. Even those who watched us from afar. That was me, Susan. Together... Love you, Susan. We have been... Susan? Oh. The perfect blend. Susan? Hey. Where were you just now? I was home. What a beautiful line to finish well, on. I was home. It doesn't mean anything now. They're coming oh. back. <laughs> well, no, it, it didn't mean really. a lot at, at the time. No, what pro- about for the people who own those houses? Oh, that they thought they were off the hook they've now. They've been gutful. Well, they, they, they've <laughs> they've been paid a fortune for years, haven't yeah, they? they get paid no, now they want to renovate and things, don't they? Well, you can't do that. They been don't allowed Channel to. 10 own them? Don't ruin Ramsey no. Street. No, they don't. This is exciting, guys. There's someone on the line, and I can't believe it. Her name is Jackie Woodburn. She is Susan Kennedy. Susan, welcome to the show. <laughs> Good morning. My God, it was very strange to think of that play over again. Yeah, That's but strange. it was it was a beautiful moment. And as a Neighbours fan, sitting on the couch, it felt like the final goodbye, of course. And now well, I, do- I don't know it how to react. To the- I don't know how to react to the news. Well, uh, if you think Tanya was excited about winning the tickets, you've got no idea how excited I am. It's... Um, I, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. Yeah. This is the most wonderful, wonderful news. Just think all those jobs back for all those yeah, people. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, true. And all those, those fans and viewers who, who write to us still every day telling us how much they missed the show and how much they wish it was back. It's um, it's a little, it's a little Christmas miracle. Yeah, I love it? this, Jackie. Jackie, were there whispers of this going on around the time it finished up, or you honestly thought that was it? It was done and dusted. No, hand on heart, I thought it's done and dusted. Yep. It was, um, I mean, obviously behind the scenes they were they were looking for another broadcaster or another platform for us to be on, but but it didn't happen, and that was it. End of story. And we all got our heads around that, and everyone was so focused on mm. sending the show off in the best way that we possibly yeah. could that that we just had to accept that that was the case and. And give it a red hot go, and and you know say goodbye and walk out the door. So this is, you know, we, we've only known about this ourselves, the four of us, for literally a few days. Because Jackie, um, Jackie, because 
like at the start of the week, it was devastating. They showed there were some images on a story on the Daily Mail about the sets of Neighbours, because obviously there's Ramsey Street for the external shots, and then there's some sets, yep. and they were all gone. They were all ripped apart, and it was like, oh, my God, don't show me that. That's part of my family that you've ruined there. I know. So then, I know. It's, it's, it's like seeing a grave dug up it is. something, isn't it? It's- and then here we are, the end of the week, with this amazing news. So, how did it, how did you hear the news? Were you emailed by the network, or you got a phone call? No, or? no. Um, Jason Hilderson, our executive producer, who has been responsible for all the good stuff that happened on Neighbours in the last decade, he, yeah. he's just been phenomenal. Came to the house, he said, because he lives close to me, and he said, "I just just need to. I'm going somewhere. I just need to drop in." And so he dropped in, and he told me, wow. and, and I think I, I may have kind of grabbed him around the throat. And <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Say that again. Say that again. Say it slowly yeah. so that I understand. Were you? Oh, wow. Can I ask you, Jackie? Were you? Was there an element of you going, "Oh, well, now I can put my feet up a little bit and relax"? Or what? What, what were your initial thoughts? So you really want to get back into it again? I honestly, I, there was not a split second yeah. of indecision. I oh, just said, "I'm oh, there. That. I'm there." Oh, good Absolutely. on, good on you, mate. This is this is awesome. Yeah. So, w- when are we talking? Can you give us some time frame here? When will they start filming again? Uh. At this stage, I believe we start filming uh, kind of mid-April. Yep. And I think to go back on air uh, sort of, you know, second half of next year. Oh, great. So Neighbours just took long service leave after 37 years. Well, That's all yeah, it was. Yeah, we just kind of... <laughs> little holiday. You know, look, it's yep. been lovely. We all just took a, took a gap here, I suppose. Do you know who's not happy, Jackie? Uh, Ray Ma, he thought he had the monopoly of Australian drama. <laughs> Finally, Furious. home and away, got the number one spot. This is ours. We've got it now, and now you're back, Jackie. He's not happy. Oh, uh, you know what? When we when we got when we got tanned, when we got the got axed, you yeah. know, yeah. we got actually got some lovely lovely messages from some of the home and away crew. Oh, great! Um, so so I think that they will be thrilled. You know, it's yep. it's. It's about the industry as a whole, and you know very well that it's an industry that that cannot support all the talent out there. No. So to no. have this opportunity back for all those up and comers is just—it's it's huge. Truly, yep. it's, it's it's a win for all of us. Yeah. Have you spoken oh, to Tony? No, that's oh, wrong. Sure has. That's wrong. Yeah. Sure has. He'd be it's pumped. Three. Oh, he's wrapped. He's yeah. wrapped. We're all wrapped. Almost worth well, growing another I'd ponytail about. Tell you what, Jackie, <laughs> Susan has to come back with vengeance. I think you've got to come back as a serial killer. Oh, you're going to kill oh, half oh, the town. Oh, <laughs> it's coming back oh, ugly. No, I, would, I would love that. I would love that. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> you've then got to have four affairs. What? <laughs> Poor Carl has no idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bouncer gets barbecued. Oh, no, he died long oh, time ago. Oh, well, yeah, anything oh, can no, happen, he's mate. Long gone. He's no, long gone. He's but long gone. hey, look, it's neighbours. Anything, anything can happen. Yeah, well done, Jackie. Congratulations. Great news. Thank you so much. Yes, it is. Thank Thanks, Jackie. Bye bye. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.